Always Be My Maybe. There are no spoilers in this review. This rom-com stars Randall Park and Ali Wong, who also co-wrote it, by the way. The story starts off quite generic with two young kids who are friends but have a one night where they pass friendship. The story then fast forwards to when they are adults 16 years later and they come in contact with each other once again in LA. What I appreciate about this movie is that it isn't as cookie cutter and generic as it could have been, but it ultimately is fairly predictable as a rom-com. I also enjoy the fact that the movie doesn't shy away from many stereotypes and chooses to address them head on. There's some fairly comedic moments and a rather huge actor makes an appearance or two. Acting is fine. I do think that the main leads do a very believable job, but no nobody else really stands out for me. As an Asian American, I feel like I can really relate to their performances and what they went through. However, one of the weakest parts of the film is the fact that it often feels like a sitcom. It never really removes the feeling that we are just watching them act, and sometimes it feels as though a laugh track could have been thrown in after a joke here and there. If that's what they're going for, that's just fine, but it feels odd to me. A major theme I picked out was cultural importance. Many races can relate to the stereotypes addressed and even resonate with some dialogue from the main leads. The issues with parents, food, and other parts of Asian culture is often looked at multiple times. For pros, there was very good acting from the main leads, a funny cameo moment, and I like that the movie challenges itself and takes risks addressing Asian stereotypes. As far as cons go, it does feel too predictable during certain times, not all the jokes land, and like I said, it feels like a sitcom a little too often for my taste. Overall, I did enjoy this movie. I, I would recommend watching it and I would rank this movie a 6.8 out of 10.